Welcome to the Cybersecurity Competition Federation Show. I'm Dan Manson. I teach computer information systems at Cal Poly Pomona and serve as principal investigator for a National Science Foundation grant to help form an umbrella organization over cybersecurity competitions. The Cybersecurity Competition Federation can support the development of skill at a large scale by bringing cybersecurity competitions under an umbrella organization which will help players of all ages and skill levels identify a point of entry into a continuum of cybersecurity competition experiences. With a focus on communication and promotion, the CCF maintains the autonomy of competition creators, supports their business models, and does not interfere with their sponsorship or funding sources. This week, we have on-site coverage of the Pacific Rim Collegiate Cybersecurity Competition from Seattle, Washington. This year, 14 schools competed in PRCCDC. The scenario required teams to take over the information technology operations for a fictitious Center for Disease Control. The orange team at the competition role-played victims of a medication given by CDC with unintended side effects. Let's enjoy this competition. What is the scenario this year? What's going on? Um, at this point, because we are still in the competition, we are not going to answer that question. Hi, this is this is Denise. Uh, my daughter Marley has, has become violent. I, I locked her in her room, but I don't think the door will hold. Um, what, what should I do? Uh, is there a okay. secure place for you to get yourself to now? Okay, because I, I tried to remember that the phone line is so busy and I just couldn't think of anyone else. Uh, where are you at the house? Ma'am? Well, another one bites the dust. What do you learn in this competition that you don't learn taking classes? the stress and realities of how good the red team can be. Bryce, uh, also known as Tweak, has an, a foothold in the mail server. What's the worst thing that the red team has done to you today? Uh, the worst thing? Um, well, that the red team has done to us, not ourselves. Uh. What's the worst thing that the red team has done to you today? We're probably not gonna find that out until tomorrow. <laughs> so the worst thing I think we've done today is um, after the server reset uh, and a small grace period, uh, we had uh, all the DMZ Windows boxes owned, I think, six different ways, um, with multiple persistence mechanisms. And then on the uh, router, the uh, uh, we, we corrupted both levels of backup image so that if they rebooted or reverted, uh, we would still have access, or it would just brick the device and they'd have to go back to the vulnerable snapshot. CDC, this is Hector. And see if my cat's infected? No, I think I'm fine. I'm more concerned about the kittens. What tells you that a blue team is doing a good job? Uh, what tells me that a blue team is doing a good job is when my red team members are really upset. Okay, so now this, if it works, it will replace all instances of people with people space griff alert the end is near. So it'll pop up with a text box going the end is near. So now it'll be extremely obvious that there's a case, not just kind of some text got changed. What is the quality? single most important quality that you think you need to have in this competition? In this competition, I think the ability to take a step back, take a deep breath, and realize that after two days, you're going to go back to regular life and, uh, and realize it's not the end of the world if your internet dies. <laughs> Tell me again, what's it feel like? Surreal. Um, it's only been about 10 minutes now, and I still can't stop shaking. I'm so excited. Um, we came in with the goal to be the best team in the state of Idaho, and we ended up being the best team in the Pacific North, Northern Rim. What is it that you learned playing that you were able to implement 
as an advisor? Um, you know, learning how the red team does some things, uh, you know, just how the competition works in general, uh, you know, and then taking what we've learned, at, what I learned at all the competitions, and putting that into our practices and teaching these guys how to do that. We are continuing our segment this week called Inside the Game. With me is Dr. Jason Pittman. Jason, welcome back. Thanks, Dan. Raytheon is the national sponsor for CCDC this year and has a strong partnership with regional CCDCs. One of the coolest parts of this partnership is the interactive Raytheon bracket for the big dance of data defense. Jason, let's walk through the Raytheon CCDC interactive bracket. Let's do it. If we look at the Rocky Mountain Regional, we see that Southern Utah University won the regional and advanced to nationals. We already showed that on a previous segment. Yep. North Central Regional, University of Nebraska at Kearney is going to the big dance. At Large Regional, University of Alaska Fairbanks. Southwest Regional, University of Texas at San Antonio in an upset. Yeah. Northeast Regional, Rochester Institute of Technology, which I predicted. Pacific Rim Regional, which we just showed, ITT Tech Boise in a big upset knocked off University of Washington. Western Regional this, this weekend, that's the one that we're gonna be hosting here, Cal Poly Pomona. Yep. Mid-Atlantic Regional, one that you're familiar with, is also this weekend. Midwest Regional this weekend, Southeast Regional early April. Now, I believe that we're really developing the rivalries here. You have experience with the Mid-Atlantic Regional. Do you have rivalries within that contest? Well, we absolutely do. Um, and I would suspect other regions do as well. It, it's a big part of competition, especially at a high level at the collegiate bracket. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, you know, when I was a coach and a mentor at Capital University, our main rivalry was Towson, which was right down the road. We all practiced together. We knew each other. But during competition time, <laughs> it was on. Let's take a look at that Mid-Atlantic Regional because one of the cool things about this site is that you click on the regional and up come all the teams. In fact, you can drill down even more. But let's take a look at these teams. So these are teams that you're familiar with. Absolutely. And I'll give you a second chance. Let's see which one you can pick coming out of this one. <laughs> Putting me on the spot, Dan. Um, you know, Capital tends to do okay. Mm -hmm. um, Towson tends to do very well. If I had to guess, I would probably guess University of Maryland College Park. All right, you're on for that one. Let's go ahead and look at the Western Regional, which is the one that we're hosting this weekend. Right. And we see the teams that are gonna be competing in this contest. Cal Poly Pomona, Cal State Northridge, Riverside City College, a community college, University of California, Berkeley, the defending champion of the regional, Cal State Dominguez Hills, Cal State San Bernardino, San Bernardino Valley, another community college, University of Advancing Technology. Now, if we click on one of these schools, it gets even cooler. So you can see, you can select your social media right. preference to tweet about them, to put them on Facebook, but basically to tout your school, to, to start promoting your pick. You know, I think this is a beautiful thing, Dan. Uh, this represents an entirely new pathway insofar as now as a fan of the sport, a fan of a specific team, maybe even a fan of a specific player, now I can participate without mm -hmm. actually participating in the competition. I really think this plays to a broader audience. Absolutely. Everyone gets involved with NCAA March Madness, and now everyone at their school can root on their team. The only thing we're missing is the Vegas odds. Well, you know, I don't know about Vegas, but I got Uncle Jimmy, and we're betting on this stuff. All right, so you've got University of Maryland coming out with Uncle Jimmy, yep. and I still pick Rochester Institute of Technology going all the way. Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Dan. Next week, we will provide on-site coverage of the Western Regional Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition from Cal Poly Pomona in Pomona, California. If you have a competition you would like us to cover in a future show, please contact us at cyberfed.org. I'm Dan Manson, see you next week.